Oh man, I'm back. This time I had another problem with this Batmobile. Excuse all the noise. The neighbor is cutting the grass. Man, the other day I was driving on the highway trying to get to work. It's early in the morning, and I noticed I keep getting water on my on my windshield, man. So the first time I depend on mine, looked down at the temperature gauge. I'm like, I'm good. I kept scooting on down the highway, and I kept getting water on my windshield. So it dawned on me. I'm like, man, why am I the only person on the highway with water on the windshield? So on the next exit, I get off, and when I get off, I had these vents on the hood, and you can still see it. You see those spots right there? I got water blowing all up these vents onto my windshield so i'm like oh man i gotta get to work i ain't got time for this man ain't nobody got time for that check it out i got water all up under the hood and stuff but my temperature never went up i'm gonna just try to get to work keep my eye on the temperature gauge you know us mechanics we do stuff like that so i make it to work temperature never went up so i'm like cool i go into work at lunchtime i come back out i'm just like let me go out here to this dang old car and see what wine is on because i do got to get back home so i come out here the first thing you do you take off the radiator cap because it's cool now and you can check it out right so i take off the radiator cap you know what i'm saying and i look up in here i just can't do it captain my water is low, you know, so I'm like, all right, I'm going to pour some more water and I go into the shop and get some water, come back out, pour it all up, 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 up in there. I turn the car on, try to see if I got any leaks and stuff like that. And guess what? I didn't have no leaks. So I'm thinking, dang, man, water pump, head gasket. You know, we always go to the, to the worst stuff, you know, instead of checking out the simplest stuff. Now, but those who pay attention... I took off that radiator cap, and what was wrong with it, why? Let me show it to you again, why? What's wrong with this radiator cap, man? Let me think. You see that, man? That's not good. Most people uh, look over that, because we always look for the big stuff. A hole in the, in the hose, leaking water, water pump, head gasket, and kind of find out it was the stupid radiator cap. Look at this thing. I'm going to show you how it used to look. This is how it used to look. And this is how it look now. Uh, and I'm going to keep it real with, you, real, with, real with you. I had this problem before a long time ago. Same thing. Car blowing water all over the place. I couldn't figure it out. I changed the radiator cap. This is a cap that I had in my toolbox. I put this on. It's been about two years now, and it did the same thing with the previous radiator cap. Stay away from these caps, man. Oh, 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 oh. And as y'all see, I got another one. You know what I'm saying? The only reason I got it, I wanted to the O'Reilly Brothers. I'll go in there and say, hey, look, man, I need a radiator cap for a 2000 S2000. They was like, all right, yeah, what kind of car is it? It's the S2000. Yeah, you, you told me the year. What kind of car is it? Is an S2000 man. Say, no! I, oh shit! Say again! Say something else! Oh! Say something else! But anyway, they go get me another radiator cap. She put the box on the table. I pulled the radiator cap out of the box and I was like, Lady, ma'am, uh, this, no, 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 this, this ain't gonna work. I, I can't do this no more, man. I can't do this. This is this gonna be the third one I had. And the problem is, these things is plastic on the inside. I don't know if you can, you see that middle piece? It's plastic. Let's take a look at my wife's uh, G35. She got a radiator cap on that mammal jam. I'm gonna show you how radiator cap's supposed to look. You, you hear what I say, boy? Look at it right here, boy. Look at it right, boy. Oh. Oh, that's metal, all metal. That's what you want. When you get you a radiator cap, you want to make sure it's all metal. Look, that's how I'm used to radiator caps looking. Not this plastic stuff that they've been giving me lately for these last 2000s. Man, I don't know what's the dealio. Only reason I took this radiator cap and got out of Dodge is because I needed to make it back home. I'm getting this thing off my car. This piece that fall off and break once this stupid plastic get brittle and hot and cold, hot and cold, brittle, 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 it breaks off and guess where that go? Down in your dang old radiator. I got two of these somewhere at the bottom of this radiator just chilling, you know what I'm saying, just chilling. 
if you ever go to the parts store and they give you one of these radiators, you tell them Doo said, No! 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 Try to stick with all metal radiator caps. This new, I don't know if this new or, I don't know, it must be new. Because I ain't never seen a design of a radiator cap that got plastic or, I don't know, it, it feel like plastic. That's what I'm going to call it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no chemist. But anyway, stay away from this. This might be a new design. Them new designs don't always work. Stay away from this bull crap right here. Stick. Oh, this is another bull crap. Stick to the metal one. You want You want to get a metal one. This right here. You see the difference? Why? That ain't going to fall off. You hear what I say? That ain't going to fall off. I don't know if these caps is only for S2000, but for some reason, every time I try to get a radiator cap for S2000, this is what they hand me. The bull crap right here. Mishimoto. Boom! Shoubari! Omigoto! Aiyuchi! Ippon-me! Mishimoto. Boom! You go on eBay, get you a Mishimoto. Boom! Mishimoto has you running right, man. Get your radiator cap from Mishimoto. Boom! You ain't gonna have no more problem. eBay, Mishimoto. Boom! Get one. That's what I'm going to do. I'm getting this thing off my car. It lasts about two years. Maybe I got lucky. I don't know. Maybe you can get a little longer out of it. But don't play that game. Get rid of this thing. Come with me now. Come with me now. Come with me now. Thank you, I want you out of here. I want you out of here. I want you out of here.